This is the Star News Brief from Tina Mambunu. A vicious and drawn-out war looms between President William Ruto and his predecessor Uhuru Kenyatta with the incumbent's troops training their guns on the retired president's parks. A section of Ruto's foot soldiers also want Uhuru sacked as regional peace envoy, a move that could trigger political tremors in the entire East African region. Nandi Senator Samson Cherargei on Wednesday said the government will petition the Treasury to stop the retirement parks of Uhuru and his political soulmate Raila Odinga. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa will be smiling all the way to the bank after judges adopted an agreement to have his 202 million shillings that was declared as proceeds of crime returned to him. After months of legal battles, Court of Appeal judges Daniel Musinga, Imana Laibuta and Genye Masharia on Wednesday agreed to adopt a resolution by Gashagwa and the Assets Recovery Agency to have the funds channeled back to him. UDA has asked their Azimio counterparts to train their energies on the equality of men and women who will be picked to form the IEBC selection panel. The president, William Ruto led party while rebuffing assertions by the opposition that the law was changed in a poly by Ruto to control the polls agency, said for the new law, the horse had already bolted. For the ruling party, the law of the selection panel has been passed and the focus should shift to the quality of persons who will be nominated to interview the next crop of poll chiefs. Akadil Primary School in Isiolo is located where bandits and cattle rustlers clash routinely, exposing children and education workers to risk. With no fence, dilapidated classrooms, broken toilets and poor infrastructure, it is almost like a punishment to send children to school. In what appeared to be a prayer answered, Human Practice Foundation, a lobby registered as an international charity, came upon the school. Its journey of transformation began in earnest. For a long time, cancer diagnosis has been a warrant of death. The limited information about it, the myths surrounding the disease and the pushingly scarce treatment resources in the country made it a death knell. But in the rapidly evolving national crisis, Dr. Mary Nyangasi Onyango found a life purpose. From devolving the reach of the cancer treatment services to equipping of Kenyatta National Hospital, Dr. Nyangasi has carried cancer care in the country as her own baby. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.